This is the top of Mount Ubagatake. Mount Ubagatake is a ridge off the top of Mount Ngasan. I'm not sure how true this is, but the characters for Ubagatake literally mean the mountain of old women. And I've heard that it's because in the past they used to send old women out here to, to well, to send them out to pasture, basically. I'm not sure how true it is, but that's what I've heard. We're here on the 9th of October, and it's a beautiful autumn day. The autumn leaves are out like wildfire. Mount Ubagatake is quite an easy hike. You just go to the top of the Shizu ski lift, the Gasan ski lift. Then it's about 30 to 45 minutes from the top of the ski lift. If you climb Mount Gasan from Mount Yudono via Mount Ubagatake, you can climb three famous mountains of Yamagata at once. And if you go that way, we go to Mount Yudono. This is the top of Mount Ubagatake. And down there, you can see some huts. So those, those huts are on the way to Mount Yudono. And you can see behind the huts, there's been a landslide. So that's actually right where Mount Yudono Shrine is. Well, there is a Mount Yudono, but when we say Mount Yudono, we refer to Mount Yudono Shrine. This means here. Oh, nice. First you come up to Shizu Onsen, then well you keep going up to the Gasan ski lift and you can park your car there and at the ski lift you buy a ticket, it's 1,100 yen return and from there you can climb to Ubagatake. You can also do Ubagatake without using this lift as well, it's an extra two hours. It's really nice in the autumn, definitely worth it. This is the ski lift that is used actually for Mount Gasan ski field. It gets so much snow, it has the latest ski season in Japan. The ski season starts in April and finishes around July. Mount Ubagatake was a really fun and easy mountain to hike. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, I've written a detailed guide at timbunting.com slash ubagatake. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the mountains. Thank you.